small roof. It's a swimming pool roof in Western Connecticut. What happened is the EPDM is coming up. You can see this is EPDM. So um, we're going to just redo this roof quickly. And but look at the ice. Look, look. It's cold. It's 28 degrees outside. I'm going to dry it up too because it's wet now. Okay, so the microphone quit on me, so I'm just going to talk you through this procedure. Here I'm removing the EPDM uh, material from the scupper, so I can attach my membrane straight to the scupper. So that's that's important, and also to get it lower in the scupper. I uh, install a self-adhering base paper over the EPDM. Not many people will approve of this, but it works very good. I used Liberty in this case. And then I'm bringing up a roll, 110 pounds. I'm 64 years old and my partner is removing the plastic backing off of the uh, self-peeling, self-adhering base. Again, I'm going to torture. Some audio came back. Now, you don't normally want to have the seam exactly over the seam of the base. You want to stagger it. But in this case, that's what I did. See this black granular? That's what it is. Like a uh, ceramic granular. And that protects it against UV. So, that's what we do. And when you torch, you don't have to torch much because the, uh, the, 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 the stuff sticks very well. Look, look, if I move it back, you cannot get it apart. All right, so that's what it is. Okay. To heat up this tank. Well, I heat up a tank because it's very cold and I'm not getting enough flame. So I heat, heat up the tank to get uh, the gas to flow better. And here I'm kicking the, uh, I'm walking on the material as I torch. Most uh, Canadians don't like me to do that. They say it's wrong, but uh, they use Suprema instead. Here I'm removing the cover tape off of the metal so I can attach my membrane straight to the metal. And after I've removed it, I use lacquer thinners to remove the glue and any debris off. That's it. Now, the glue is washed off with lacquer thinners. That's it. All right, keep washing it off and then make sure everything is clean. I place my membrane where I'm going to adhere to the scupper so I can cut a tab there. I wish I cut the membrane slightly wider, and you'll see in a moment why. But I cut a tab and get it ready so I can bring it right into the scupper. And then we remove the adhesives of the EPDM from the scupper. That was pretty thick there, so I had to remove all of that. It took a while. <clears throat> all right, now I'm ready to torch, but before I can torch, I have to put the Karnak 81 adhesive onto the metal where I'm going to fasten the membrane. I'm going to adhere the membrane to. Notice it is trowel grade, not brush grade. You can use 81 or 66 in this case. And I've put a thick bead of Karnak 81 trowel, and especially in the corners. You'll see there as I put it in the corner. And then, also, the reason why you use a torch to, is to burn off the plastic. There's a thin plastic film backing on this membrane that you need to burn off. You cannot just adhere it to the adhesive or to, or to a self-stick membrane. You have to burn it off, like I do in this case. I heat up the surface, I heat, and I burn off the plastic and melt it slightly. So it will stick to the base okay. paper, base sheet. So. And you can see I'm hitting it quite a lot here to get it malleable and fit into the corner. And all the plastic is off of that tab that's going to now lay onto that adhesive. 
And there you see, I got it. I squeeze out all the air and pockets from underneath the, the tab, and I squeeze it into the corner of this little uh, wall. So I turn around and I flip back the membrane as far as I can to where I can see it was adhered properly to the seam. And then notice how I put I more flame so. onto the seam, and you can see as I pull back how it melts together. And you can see they're slightly oozing out at the seam there because I put I more heat there. So. And also at the end seam here, I use more heat to adhere the, the membrane, especially because you have granulars. You go over I a granular surface, you so. need to put heat to, to, um, to melt the granules and everything into the uh, torch down. It works. I've done it for 30 years. It works good, and some Canadians don't like me doing that. They always criticize me for that. So, I don't squeeze it too much. And here I'm walking, as I torch, I walk onto the membrane. It's unlike the Suprema material, which is a better material, but in Canada, they have a pull stick or whatever they call it. But how can you pull back on the material as you come to the edge of a, of a roof? <laughs> Here I chalk line uh, a mem the membrane to, to cut a strip that I can uh, apply <coughs> onto the uh, drip edge. And uh, I apply the Karnak 81 again and also I burn off the plastic from the mem membrane. Always the same process. And I put it apply it onto the member onto the uh, adhesive and I squeeze out all the air pockets make sure it's tight but I don't squeeze it out so much that you all that the tar peels out uh, squeezes out sure. here I'm using a field torch to do detail work and that's really tough to do um, you cannot use too much heat you need a field torch for this and I wish the tab was longer and this is why I said earlier on I wish the tab was a little bit bigger. It comes up slightly that wall, but look the overlap there. It's very little. I wish it was like an inch or an inch and a half or so, two inches longer. But it worked. And again, I heat up the corner first to apply the, the membrane into the corner before I do the seam onto the roof. So I heat up the corner and then I use my trowel and hand to, to bring the membrane right into the corner. You see that? Right into the corner. And then I lift it up again to do the seam now. And if you had a detailed torch, this would be really easy to do. I'm doing it with a big torch, a little bit harder to do. But still, I can do it. And then, unlike what other people say, you cannot torch onto granules, onto ceramic granules. You can. I've been doing it for 35 years, and it is okay. You can do it. Um, here I again, I do the tab, and that's it. I'm done in this case. And I do the same on the other side. Again, just to show you how it's done, you can see the, the membrane comes over, and I wish it was slightly longer. Look how little overlap I have at that corner in a scupper. But that's how I did it. I apply the Karnak 81, and then I burn off the plastic. In this case, I also want to get the, the material heated up a little bit to be more malleable because it's very cold, 28 degrees. So there's two reasons, burning off the plastic and to get the material malleable, a little bit easier to work with. And, and I gently put it back over that um, uh, Karnak 81 and I, I really get out, the, get the... Uh, the air pockets out from underneath it by squeezing out slightly. And then I do the same, I heat up the corner and I tug it in right into the corner. <coughs> All right, like that. 
and then I do the seam, melting it to the um, surface. And so this way will never, never, never leak. And I do the tabs again with a fuel torch. And you can see here, the overlap is barely making it. I think I got about an inch of it onto the uh, scupper material about an inch or half an inch or something like that and it's okay it works after four years talking to the people still they everything is fine i checked it uh, the other day it's fine it it never came loose it will never come loose and that's it that's how you do a small roof this was a roof over a uh, swimming pool and do the tabs, make sure everything is melted nice. See how it oozes out. And that's it. Okay. And the audio came back for a moment and then it left me. And I say thank you for watching and I see you on the next video. I could not lip sync this one, okay? <laughs> see you. Bye bye.